Hi, welcome to Green Thumb Nursery. My name is Kathy Moyne and I'm an advanced certified nursery professional that works here. And I was walking through the nursery and this poor little guy was stuck in the back, all crowded in, not good air circulation. And as you can see, he has become infested with white fly. See all these white flies here? So, and that particular white, this particular insect is what I call a sucking type insect. Well, they all kind of suck, but this one really does. It actually sucks the juices out of the plant. They excrete a sticky substance called honeydew, which attracts ants. So a lot of times you'll see ants crawling up in and out of the plants. And it also will cause what we call sooty mold. See this gray black stuff that's on the leaves? And if you look farther down in here, you can really see it all over the leaves, these black spots. And that's what we call sooty mold, S-O-O-T-Y, soot, like soot. And it grows on the sticky excretions of the insects that suck the juices out. So one thing that you can do is you can use beneficial insects, um, ladybugs, the, they've actually, there are some lacewing eggs here. If you can, can see beyond all these, uh oh, there it is. See those two little, little green things there on the end? Looks like a little balloon on the end of a strand. That's lacewing eggs. So the lace, the lacewing is a beneficial insect. And the way it works is it's flying around and it sees this sooty mold or it smells it probably. And it goes, oh, there's some bugs down there. So I'm gonna go lay my eggs. And they put them on here so that when they hatch, they can get to these guys. Unfortunately, what happens with beneficials is the plant has to get really bad, and then just about the time you give up, you're about ready to give up on it, the good guys come along. And then they lay eggs, and then they and then they then the cycle starts. So this situation is a little bit more sticky then I want to handle, let the, let the beneficials handle. Now, let's say you, you'd forgotten about it and you, you, you come back a month later, it might, you might come back and it would be somewhat cleaned up. But I'm too impatient for that. So I'm gonna use an oil spray. And what I like to use is this one. And this is called All Seasons Oil which is exactly what it says it is. You can use this all seasons. Now back in the day, we used to have Volk oil and heavier oils, and you would damage things if you used it in the summertime in the heat. But this product right here is good to about 90 degrees, so you can spray your plants either early morning or late afternoon, and it shouldn't damage your plants. If it's above 90, then just hose it off with water. And that's another thing you can do. You can come in here and blast this real good with water. Problem with white flies is they lay eggs and they have a seven day uh, gestation period. So the eggs, seven days later, there's a full generation right back up there again. So even though you hose these guys off and even though you might give it a little bit of air, better air circulation, they could easily come back. So I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna chance it. I'm gonna use my oil spray and what the oil spray does is it not only suffocates the insect, but it suffocates the eggs. It clogs their breathing pores and they can't breathe. So they may die from suffocation. What's cool about it is this, min it's a mineral oil and it is organic. It does not kill the beneficials. So it's easy on the beneficials. So we like that. So we can kind of clean it up and then those beneficials when they, when they hatch, they might find some stuff there or they'll fly away and go find some, something somewhere else. But what the, to me, the, the sucking type insects are gonna be like your scales, which look like little half shells that stick to the side of the plants. Um, again, the key is you're gonna see ants usually. If you see ants in your plants, you got problems and they're usually sucking type insects. 
So because of their excretions, that attracts the ants. And the ants will actually carry them from place to place. So they herd them around because they live off their excretions. So they herd them like cattle. So again, that's, a, that's an indicator to you. If you've got ants up in there, uh-oh, something's going on. You need to look. So the scales attach to the side of the branches or sometimes in the veins of the leaves. Um, star jasmine gets that a lot. You'll see like little flat creatures on the veins of the leaves. That's, that's a scale. And this oil spray will work for that. Now the oil spray, it also will take care of aphids. I think most of you kind of know what aphids are, unfortunately, because those are pretty common. Nice thing about, a well, nice thing, bad thing about aphids is, or I guess one way to say it is when it's hot, they're not as active. They're more like that in the spring when it just starts getting warm or in the fall as it starts cooling back down, you, have, you see, see aphids a little more often. And they're usually on the new growth. And again, your ants are up in there checking them out, doing things with them. Um, again, you can always bring samples down to us. We have a magnifying glass in our, in our uh, garden shop and we can really look closely at these insects and, and give you a diagnosis pretty accurately as to what you've got and how you can take care of it. But the, this oil spray is, like I said, for all those sucking type insects, it's a really good thing. Um, spider mites. Spider mites look like a very fine webbing in between the leaves. And the leaves start looking stippled. And stippled means they're like they're speckled, like the chlorophyll is being taken out of the leaves. And that's kind of what's happening. And then the next thing you know, it's just covered with these. And then you'll see these little, these little dots. They're very small. And one way you can test it to see if that's what you got is you could take a piece of white paper, stick it down below the leaf, and tap it. And if there's spider mites on there, you can actually see them crawling around. But usually that, that webbing is going to tell you, you got spider mites. And again, the oil spray is again the thing you're going to want to use because that also suffocates their eggs. And because they're so small, they're all over the plant. So you want to make sure that you really saturate the plant and get a good coverage. And because of that, we usually say do it once a week for about three weeks. Now, once you've done your oil spray or before you do your oil spray, the day before, you can come in here and hose this off and get rid of a lot of the stuff that's already there and then gets the dust and dirt off the plant. And then the next day you can come in and spray with your oil spray. You can wait a couple days, hit it again with, some, with the water spray, you know, hose it off with the water again. But like I said, usually once a week for three weeks. And again, this also works for powdery mildew. Um, roses get mildew, begonias get mildew, fuchsias can get mildew, dahlias get mildew. So it's just a white kind of cottony looking fuzz on tops of the leaves and this helps with that. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this guy because I want you guys to see how, how I'm going to do it. And here we've got, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a little fly flying around here. He is one of the guys that's, that's um, a beneficial. He's a sir fly. I don't know if you can see him in there. Because see, he could tell there's stuff on the leaves. So he's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get in there and lay some eggs. His larva looks like a little green worm. So you kinda have to be careful when you see him. He's kind of um, carrot shaped, I guess, is be the, the way to, to cause it's kinda pointed. And um, they, they, they crawl kinda light, and they got a little white stripe down their back. If you don't, if you, you can always Google it, Searfly larva and it'll show you a picture of it. Or you can come down and we can tell you what it is. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this now and I wanna get a real good coverage. So I'm gonna, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get underneath the leaves cause that's where they are. And this also helps with the sooty mold. Helps to get rid of the sooty mold. So I'm really gonna give us a good saturation now another thing you can do is if you've got a big plant and the damage is on one part of the plant, you can also cut some of that out. So, you know, you're just going to get rid of them, throw them in the trash, put them in a plastic bag, throw them in the trash so that they're not going to be able to get out and spread to other things. But 
we want this thing basically to be dripping. And unfortunately, I don't want to get too crazy because we're going to get oil on the camera. But anyway, so this is what you would do for sucking type insects. Now, another thing you can do is you feed them, you know, trim them back and give them some fertilizer. Plants, usually the insects go for the plants that are stressed out. This guy was all stuck in between, didn't have good air circulation, lots of other plants around him. And so that's why he got sick. But um, if they get too much water, if they don't have enough water, if they're, if they're hungry, if you haven't been feeding them, sometimes that will make them more stressed out. They're like us. If we get stressed out, we get sick easier. Same with the plants. If they get stressed out, they're susceptible to diseases and insects. So the key is good air circulation, feeding on a fairly regular basis, and giving them what they need, the sun that they need. The, you'll know if your plant's not happy, something's going on. It's not getting what it needs. And that's kind of like with us. If we're not happy, our needs are not being met. So kind of think of them as humans. They act the same and we respond the same. So I think that's really all I'm going to need to say today about your sucking type insects. And uh, check me out. I'm going to hit some ones the chewing insects next. Have a great day.